The third part, uh, business decisions. What business decisions you need to make? Um, what is the best intellectual property right uh, protection for you? Um, most of you, I believe design rights, trademark are easier. The copyright, even cheaper. Patent, harder, unless you do engineering design. So, but you can think uh, more specifically about your case. Uh, is there another way? Yes, there is a way not to protect your intellectual property or decide to offer it for free. Open it up. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is usually called under this term creative commons. So things that we create, but we share with everyone. So they're common. Uh, however, even in that case, even if you offer your uh, creative products or your designs or your artwork or photos or images or videos uh, for free, you might want some recognition. So you might want them to mention your name, who created it. Or if they use it, if others use it, you want, it, you want them to use it unchanged. Or if they use it, you don't want them to sell it if you are giving it to them for free. So, uh, and this table, in a way, summarizes all those options. You can specify. Why would you want to do that? In the beginning, maybe you're not recognized and you can't sell your creation. That's why maybe a Creative Commons approach or strategy is good because you will get a lot of supporters, a lot of followers, and once you have that, you can start charging and move on to the more commercial uh, model that we saw before. So this is maybe a good way to enter and tap into a new market. Uh, in terms of distribution channels, open access, anyone can access something for free. Subscription-based, Netflix, peer-to-peer -peer sharing, popcorn time, the third one there. Free distribution, freely share, subscription-based. What is the best one for you? It depends what you want. You want fame, you want recognition, you want profits, it depends. But it is very important to consider the distribution channel of all your creative products. Uh, just to summarize, there are a number of benefits but, uh, of protecting your intellectual property right. But the most important one is to be identified. Not only to be identified, but also to have something you can commercialize. So to, it is a way to protect your creative um, talent. So that is number one. Uh, it also helps you to be differentiated. Uh, you can earn money from sharing what you have created. And also you can prevent others from copying that. So and there are quite a number of other benefits. Is it all good? No. It is time consuming. It is costly to protect your intellectual property. Sometime you go through the whole process and you don't get anything back in exchange. And you might, and you become discouraged. Hmm? It is difficult, even if you have something protected, how much will the lawyers charge you after? Is that possible? Can you afford that? Hmm? So all these are the key decisions. Yes, in theory, it might be a good thing, but uh, I would suggest you go for the simpler and easier thing, a trademark or maybe design rights and copyright, hmm? maybe then patents. Um, but also consider all the costs. When you are small or when your uh, creative outputs are not uh, that well known, does it really matter? What do you have to lose? Maybe not much. But if you become famous, well, you will need some protection. But you need to have a strategy in place, uh, how to start, but also to have a big vision in mind. In terms of business, key decisions. Uh, new starts have only four strategies available to them. Use it as collateral to gain depth in startup. So you can offer it to a bank or to an investor. They like that because intellectual property rights, when they are protected, they protect their investment. If you go to borrow some money, they will ask you, is your uh, video game protected? Uh, do you have some copyright or design rights on that, on the character? If it's not, they won't give you the money because anyone can copy what you have done. Huh? Remember? Intellectual property is, can be copied easily. You can use it as collateral uh, for equity, so for debt, for equity, uh, or to grow your firm. You can also license it. So 
But most importantly, when you have something uh, that is protected, a pattern, it will give you instant uh, benefits in terms of marketing because customers like to see that uh, your creation has a value as an intellectual property, even though you are in the process of registering the design. So it gives a brand recognition. Also, you might not make direct money from licensing it. And on the other hand, it helps you with investors. So remember these three uh, key benefits. One is the marketing, as in credibility to customers. The other is potentially licensing it. And thirdly, maybe attracting investors.